Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Tell me how can I forget what you've done for me. How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget? No, never. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me down. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Tell me how can I forget what you've done for me. How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget no never? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Through the message of the song, sending of the heart, Jesus, I'll never forget. What have you done for me? Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Amen. I'll never forget how you brought me out. Amen. Amen. And when you never forget such a thing, it's because you appreciate what he's done. Amen. And you love him for that. Amen. The Bible tells us that whom uh, one has done much for, loves much. And we love the Lord, don't we? Amen. And we appreciate Him every day. Yes. Every day we appreciate what He has done. Not only what He has done, but what He is doing and what He's yet to do. Amen. Amen. The whole package. <laughs> because if it had not been for the Lord, mm. thank you, Lord. He gives us direction, He gives us life. Amen. And I, I truly believe, as for me, myself, and I, I truly believe that. If the Lord isn't, wasn't in my life, my life would be over. Amen. And I truly believe that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I, and I certainly live unto Him now. I appreciate it. Amen. I realize that uh, the freedom that He allowed us is not to be servants of ourselves, but to serve Him. Yeah. He freed us to serve Him. Amen. I mean, the reason why we were in a mess. <laughs> because we were serving ourselves. Amen? Amen. You can't serve yourself and be all right. That's right. Uh, but when you serve him, you all right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God. So we certainly appreciate him and praise the Lord and Amen. give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. For he is good. Yes. Uh, and his mercy endured forever. Thank you, Lord. I want to say praise the Lord everybody. Everybody, I'm praise the Lord. <laughs> so right now, we want to go before the Lord in prayer. If you got a particular prayer request, let us remember Elder Gray. He had a procedure yesterday, and the Lord will touch his body and help him. Thank you, Lord, and continue to uh, uh, bless him, spirit, soul, and body. And also pray for uh, this uh, individual. I know his name is Tim. He's lost two sons uh, in a matter of a year. So pray for him and his mind and his spirit, you know, that the Lord will touch him and help him, you know, because he was uh, concerned about his Lord will be well and go and all that. But, but pray that the Lord will bless him and help him as he uh, navigates these uncharted waters. 
Also pray for the Tate family. Lonzel Tate passed away. All right, let's pray for the Tate family. Amen. My sister. Uh -huh. And they, uh, he was sick and they had to admission him to the hospital on today. So I'm just praying for the Lord will touch his body. Yes, amen. Yeah. Yeah. We certainly will. Mm -hmm. uh, first lady. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. And we're kissing in a special way. Uh, let's um, also keep um, Linda Mills in our prayers. Yeah. And also Linda, sister um, Linda Pope that goes in for surgery tomorrow. Yes. And, um, this, uh, remember, uh, remember me, um, I went to have an x-ray done the other day, and they said something, so I have to go to see a specialist about something, so this, as the Lord, just touched my body. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We know that the Lord is a healer, yes, and he is, is a deliverer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Pray for the Bible study on tonight. It's something he said and done to encourage us to inspire yes. Our hearts. Oh, and also remember uh, uh, Jordan, Monty Jordan, the Lord who touched his body. He texted me and said he wasn't feeling well today, and then he asked for the Bible study and prayed that the Lord would touch him. Amen. And he healed him and delivered us. And uh, remember, as she said, Christian ministries and all the things that are going on, uh, even in our individual lives. That the Lord will bless us. Amen. And we uh, send for help, deliverance, encouragement, financial breakthrough, uh, with anything that we need. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I want to say, cast all your cares upon me. And he said, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. But knock, and the door shall be well. Open. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to ask the church to stand. Thank you. Let every heart pray with gracious Father, in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. We certainly thank you, Lord, for all of your greatness and your goodness and the mercy that you have shown toward us. We thank you, Lord, for being our way maker, our very present help in the time of trouble. Yeah. Uh, you have kept us and watched over us even unto this very hour. After you have sent your anointing, the Holy Ghost power to deliver us from all things that may come our way. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Remember, men and women and children everywhere, yes. Lord, continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. We ask you, Lord, that you would blood wash us and cleanse us and purge us from all unrighteousness, every word, all deed, and every secret thought. Bless our Bible study on tonight, Lord. You be in our midst, uplift our spirits and our soul, and Lord, we continue to open up our understanding that we may cling to you with a purpose and heart. And Lord, bless them once again each and every request that's been made known uh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we depend on you. Lord, we need your help. Uh, we, we cast all of our cares upon you. We ask and acknowledge you uh, that you might direct our path. Father, uh, we ask you to send forth deliverance, the blessings in the name of Jesus. Healing and deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. By the adversary on every hand, I'll oh, let your most perfect will be done. We only seek your will. Help us to understand and to know your way. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise in the presence of the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. We certainly praise God. Thank you, Lord. We all praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, it's good to, to be back once again in the house of the Lord one more time. Uh, I can truly say, I see it often, and I truly mean it. I was glad when you said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, and we thank God that we're in his house. And anytime that we're in his house, we're in his presence. Yes. And, and, and in his presence is fullness of joy, pleasure, right hand forevermore. As we get ready to go into our Bible study, let us uh, remember our council coming up the 23rd and 24th of this month. It's that Friday and Saturday, and it's going to be a greater Bethlehem Temple Church. Uh, we have Bishop B. Hannon, 
I'm away from Cincinnati. He's coming to, uh, to Breezeport where we're on Friday. And then uh, Philip Thomas, Minister Philip Thomas, will bring forth the word on that uh, Saturday. And uh, then there will also uh, be various workshops, y'all know, throughout the day, amen, to help uh, empower us, amen, to encourage us. So uh, we thank God and we praise God for all that He is doing. So right now, we certainly want you to turn with us to the Book of St. Matthew, uh, chapter number five. Amen. Hopefully, um, what I want to work on is the, uh, I really want to go through five, six, and seven. Amen. Because they really represent the foundation of our church. And there's a lot of things that are in there that are connected. Uh, to us and how we uh, are to be representatives of the kingdom of God. And uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5, 6 and 7, uh, they really focus on our future. Amen. And we should focus on our future uh, and, and how we Live for God. Amen. Like I said earlier, uh, when, when the Lord delivered the children uh, from Egypt, out of Egypt, y'all know that when, when Pharaoh asked the question, he said, what are you going to do? And Moses answered the question. He said that we're going to go to the wilderness and worship. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to go there to serve our God. Mm -hmm. When God frees us, that's the principle. When he frees us, he didn't free us to serve ourselves. He freed us to serve him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we always have to have in our mind that we are the servants of the Lord. Yeah. And that we are here to do his will. Yes. Amen. That's first and foremost. We are here to do the will of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, because I said earlier, our will got us messed up. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to lay down my will. <laughs> I'm happy to lay down my, my thoughts. Amen. I want to do the will of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So as we get ready to look at uh, Matthew chapter number five, and we want to begin reading at uh, verse number one. Matthew chapter number five and verse number one. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. All right. Uh, Jesus, uh, as you know, that he's starting out uh, his ministry, right? And there's some similarities and some correlations here in that first verse that I want to point out. And that, in that uh, Jesus, he saw the multitude. They came to him, and then Jesus went up uh, into a mountain. And uh, a mountain is significant because uh, in the Old Testament, in, uh, Moses went up into a mountain, and he received the Ten Commandments. Amen. The laws by which uh, the children of Israel were to live by. Man, and those laws, it literally made them a people, made them a kingdom. Amen? And they were uh, given by God to Moses. Amen? And, and a mountain, it, it's symbolic. It represents a, a place of power. It represents a place of majesty. It represents a place of authority. Uh, and so, so Jesus, he himself then goes to a mountain uh, in, in, in symbolic reference to majesty, in symbolic reference to glory and honor, a uh, place of authority. And it, it, he himself now is, is, is literally 
uh, uh, giving the proper interpretation of the laws that were handed down uh, to Moses, which the people uh, should have uh, been taught and understood. But they had, had some false teachers. They had some people there that were leading the people astray. So Jesus, he came to give the proper interpretation of the righteousness of God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And, and, that, and that's important because uh, 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 Jesus said, he said, uh, I didn't come to destroy the law, but I came to do what? Fulfill it. Fulfill it. And that word fulfill, it literally means to enhance it, to give proper instruction to give proper meaning. And it, it means something for us to have proper instruction, proper meaning. You cannot serve God uh, or do anything without proper instruction, without proper meaning. Uh, and what Jesus taught, he taught proper instruction and proper meaning. Amen? Amen. So, so as he goes uh, and seeing the multitudes, his, his ministry had, had gathered fame, and multitudes started following him. But no, he said, when he went up to the mountain, and when he was set, his disciples did what? Came, Came unto him. So Jesus, he separated himself <coughs> from the multitudes. Amen? And he begins to teach the disciples. Now, now the word of God it's for everybody. Uh, but, but it would only have its proper meaning for those that are his disciples. Those that are his disciples will see the word in a different way than general people will see it. Uh, general people will see it, my God, for the Holy Ghost. General people see it, they can take it or leave it. Uh, but we see it as the scripture says. Man shall not live by what? But by what? Every, Every word. word that proceeds out of the mouth. We need the word. Oh, yes. Amen? We are his disciples. We are here to please him. Amen? Yeah. We are here to serve him. So, so we take the word of God to heart. Yeah. Uh, we don't take it as suggestions. No. Uh, this is not a suggestion. No. Uh, we take it as commands. Uh, and, and if I'm going to survive, if I'm going to please God, if I'm going to have power and authority, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to take it serious. Amen? Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Uh, all right. I'm going to let y'all go early. I, I see, see y'all no time. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. All right. So he said, when... He was set. Uh, his disciples came to him. Amen. In that, in that seated position, it also, it means something. It means a position of authority. Amen. A position of power. Uh, so when he, was, when he was seated before his, uh, his disciples, he was it's as if he was seated upon a throne. Amen. A position of power and authority. Amen? Amen. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 2, um, St. Matthew 5 and 2. All right, St. Matthew 5 and 2. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying... Uh, now notice, he opened his mouth and he begins to do what? Teach. Teach. Amen? The whole of Jesus' ministry was to either preach about the kingdom or to teach about the king. Uh, all he did in his ministry, he taught or preached principles of the king. Principle king, kingdom principles. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you. And that's why, see, we, we got to put that in our mind. Why do we got to put that in our mind? Because we're concerned about denomination. Uh, the Lord, God ain't concerned about denomination. Uh, he's concerned about kingdom principles yeah. right. uh, being manifested in your life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. That's you. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, if you're not concerned about uh, 
Am I right? Um, that's why, uh, uh, to give you kind of like a sidebar analogy of what I'm talking about, uh, you remember the jihadists and, and those that, that were on those planes getting ready to, to, to commit uh, uh, suicide, kill everybody? Uh, what, what were they looking at? They, they, they said, well, we're going to get 10 virgins uh, when we die. Uh, so that, that was their motivation. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, that's, that's all, but, but that's, that's, the, that's the Eastern concept. I'm trying to give you an illustration. Uh, so we can't read and study our Bible based on our Western concept because we know that the scriptures were written based on Western concepts. Amen? Y'all follow? Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, so, so we've got to look toward the promises of God. Yeah. What is he going to provide? Right. What is he going to do? What, what has God said? Yeah. Amen? Uh, so, so I'm living for uh, what God has said. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm enduring based on what God has said. Amen? Amen. All right, read. What's it say? Matthew 5 and 4. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. All right, hold on there. Let's go back to 3. What's it say? Blessed are the poor in spirit. All right, now blessed are those that are poor in spirit. For theirs what, what is the promise? For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right, so everybody, what is the promise? The kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven. Amen? Isn't that what you're after? Yes. Uh, isn't that what you want? Oh, yes. Uh, and, and the kingdom of heaven provides you everything. Amen. Uh, and, and though you're in the kingdom of heaven now on this earth, but he's talking about that which is to come. Right. Uh, that which is to come. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be greater that which is to come. Mm. Amen. Amen. All right. Blessed are they that mourn, uh -huh. for they shall be comforted. Now, he says, blessed are they that, that mourn, and when you look at that word mourn, you got to think of death. Uh, then if you're thinking of death, you're thinking of sin. Amen? There's a lot of sin in this world, uh, which we should mourn about. Uh, there's a lot of death in this world, uh, which we should be concerned about. Sure. Amen? But, but, the, but the ultimate outcome of that uh, is we're going to be what? Comforted. Comforted. Amen. God is going to comfort us. And the scripture tells us that he's going to do what? He's, one day he's going to wipe away all tears. All tears. Uh, no more heartache. No more pain. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, one day all of that is going to be over. Am I right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, so he says, Blessed uh, are they that mourn. The promise. Uh, the, uh, the promise is that you shall be what? Well. Amen. God's going to comfort you. Amen. All right, read. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. All right. Blessed are the meek. That word meek there, anytime you see meek in the scriptures, you've got to think of one that is that is that is submissive. To the will of God. Amen? That's what meek is. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't somebody that, that, that's a jelly back and all this other kind of stuff. But they are submissive to the will of God and are seeking to do what God requires. Amen? Whatever God requires. Amen? He said, blessed are the meek. Huh? And what's the promise? They shall inherit the earth. They shall do what? Inherit, inherit the earth. Now, he's not talking, he's not talking about the, the earth as it is. Amen? We don't want this earth. Uh, when you compare it to the earth that is going to come. Yes. Uh, because sooner or later he's going to create a new heaven. Uh, and a new what? You want that earth. Amen. Amen? Because this earth has been divided. Uh, so if you submit, notice, notice what Jesus is teaching. If you submit and do the will of God, you shall inherit the earth that is to come. Amen? Amen. Amen. You want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Am
Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, uh -huh. for they shall be filled. Now notice, he said, you're blessed if you do what? Hunger. Hunger and what? Thirst. Thirst after what? Righteousness. What is righteousness? The, 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 the right way. Uh, the right way of God. Amen. Right behavior. Right conduct. Amen. Uh, he said if you hunger and thirst after that, you have an appetite and a desire for that, your desire and your appetite is going to be what? Feel. Huh? Feel. Feel. That's the promise. Is it? Yes. Uh, thank you. A lot of people. Blessed are what the verse verse seven. All right. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. All right. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall do what? Obtain, Obtain mercy. mercy. Obtain mercy. And let me let me just go back uh, uh, to the meat. Amen. To the meat. I forgot a crucial point about the meat. Read that one about the meat. Verse 5. Blessed are the meat, uh -huh. for they shall inherit the earth. All right, he says, blessed are the meat, for they shall inherit what? The earth. The earth. Now, uh, earlier, what did I say the meat people were? Who are the meat people? Those who are submissive to God's will. Those who are submissive to God's will. Yes. Amen? And, and the meat people, the, the, the point that I forgot to make, which is very, which is very crucial, they don't, they don't put any demands on God that is against his people. Amen. Uh, you know, we can, we can try to put demands on God that are against his will. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's contrary. Amen. Uh, let, us, let us not, let us not, let us not put demands on God that he's never sanctioned. Uh, that is not according to his will. That is not his desire. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us not be praying for things that we know that 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 God is not uh, has not approved of. Right. Amen? Amen. That God is not in favor of. Yes. Uh, now we can do that. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. Because of our desire. Right. Of what I want to see happen. Uh, but I want to see happen. Uh, it's not about what I want to see happen. Uh, it's about God. Uh, am I right? It's about what God wants to happen. That's why we got to pray. Uh, as the scripture says, not my will, but what? Thy will be done. Uh, that's important, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you. All right, let's go back over to where we were before. Seven. Uh -huh. Blessed are the merciful. All right, blessed are the what? Merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. All right, blessed are the merciful. For they shall what? Obtain mercy. Obtain mercy. Now, when he's talking about uh, blessed are those that show forth mercy, right? Those that that show. Uh, Release people from their debts. Uh, mercy is really shown when people are in sin. Uh, when people have offended. Am I right? Am I, am, I, am I right about that? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he says, blessed are the merciful, those that release people from their debts that they've committed against you, from their sins that they've committed against you, from the evil that they've committed against you, because you don't need mercy if, if we walk in an agreement. No. Uh, if you haven't offended me, if you haven't afflicted me, uh, if you haven't sinned against me. Uh, all right? Thank you, Lord. And, and that word mercy there, it, it comes from a, a, a derivative of, of providing, uh, providing uh, with the other individual needs uh, comes from providing with the individual needs. Uh, when, when an individual has, has, has offended, they need forgiveness. Uh, they need mercy. Uh, they need to be released. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, notice what it said. It says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall what? Obtain mercy. They shall what? Obtain mercy. 
Now, is that that's a promise, isn't it? Yes. Huh? So if 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 you show forth mercy, then then God will show you mercy. Amen. He then will provide what you need. Am I right? Do we need mercy? Amen. Uh, we all need mercy, though. Amen. We all need forgiveness, though. Yes. Now, now, this this concept of mercy, it's like it's like if you allow me to say it this way, <laughs> it's it's like it's like a wound. Uh, it's like a wound, a baby in a wound, uh, and and the baby in the wound, it may it may be cold. Fetus in the wound may be cold, and 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 the mother somehow senses that the body of the mother senses that, and it provides in the wound what that baby needs to continue, amen, to survive. Uh, in the womb, the baby may get hungry, uh, and 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 the body, the baby's uh, mother, it senses uh, what that baby needs so it can survive. Uh, that's how God operates mercy to us. Uh, uh, God, God, God senses what we need, and He provides. Uh, he gives us what we need. We've got to uh, 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 be merciful to others since that what they need and provide it. Yeah? Do you understand what I'm saying? We got to we gotta provide what people need. Yeah? Like God, he provides what we need. Yeah? That's being merciful. And once again, Mercy is extended to an offender. Huh? Right. Uh, people don't need mercy if they haven't affected. No. Uh, uh, yeah. right? Right. So therefore, therefore, when people offend us, he says, show them what? Mercy. Mercy. And then when you have offended, God will do what for you? Show you mercy. Uh, that's the principle of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's why he says, blessed are the merciful. Don't let this go over your head. Uh, blessed are the merciful. Uh, or you shall do what? Okay. Obtain mercy. Who's teaching this? Jesus. 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 Amen. The master teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. What verse, verse we in? Verse 8. Verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. We in Matthew chapter number 5 and verse number 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. All right, now notice. Now, literally, what, what we're going to read from here now are literally progressions. Uh, progressions. Uh, progressions. Y'all with me? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm going to be with y'all just for another 30 minutes. So, so y'all just, y'all just, y'all just ride with me. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let y'all go. All right. Where we at now? We get this again? Verse 8. Blessed, huh? blessed are the pure in heart. Now, no. No. Blessed are the what? Pure in heart. A pure in heart. Now, a person that is pure in heart, that means that their, their heart has been cleansed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Their heart is clean. Amen. Amen. Their heart is purified. Uh, their heart has been transformed. Their heart has been renewed. Yeah. Their heart has been revived. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Now notice the progression. He says, Blessed are the pure in heart. Read. For they shall see God. Now, those that, that, that have their heart clean. Those that have their heart pure, then they will have a revelation of God. They'll be able to see God's word. Amen? They'll be able to see and be able to understand God. Amen? Is that necessary? Yes. Huh? Is that necessary? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Lord. So 
So notice, notice, notice then the progression. Blessed are the uh, pure in heart, for they shall what? See God. All right, read. Blessed are the peacemakers. Now, those that got a pure heart, those that got a pure heart and have seen God, they will be what? They will be peacemakers. Uh, that's a progression. Uh, those that understand the will and the desire of God. Uh, uh, he said, follow peace with all men, didn't it? Yes. And holiness without the which they no man shall what? See the Lord. He said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall what? See God. See God and then they will become peacemakers. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Read what you said about the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Now, they shall be adopted and into the royal family. Uh, they shall be the sons of God. Amen. Amen. Those that, that have a desire to bring forth peace. Amen. Making a, a peace. Thank you, Lord, to, to, to bring about peace. Uh, to bring about not confusion, not division, amen, but in the kingdom, you're, you're all about kingdom principles, you're all about kingdom priority, and, and you don't frustrate the word of God, you don't frustrate the will of God, you're about keeping a, a peaceful relationship with God, amen, amen. amen. And, and, and keeping a peaceful relationship with man. Uh, therefore, you don't backbite, you don't lie, you don't steal, you don't cheat, uh, you don't fornicate, uh, you, follow, you don't commit adultery. Uh, come on here, somebody. Uh, you, you live in harmony with God and man. Uh, oh, Thank you, Lord. So he says, blessed are, are the peacemakers for what? Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Amen. They are the ones that are, 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 are in the family of God. Amen. Amen. It's a progression. Huh? First, you've got to have a clean heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then you've got to look toward being a peacemaker. All right. Read. What's the next? Verse 10. Ah. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now these are all promises. Am I right? Now this is a, this is the next progression. Uh, next progression. Uh, when you are a peacemaker and you're living right for God, uh, then read that verse again. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Then you're going to be persecuted. For righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you seek to uh, hold up the standard of God and walk with God, uh, you're going to be persecuted. Amen. Not everybody's going to like you. Uh, nobody, everybody's not going to be uh, smiling at you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. This is not, this is not uh, an easy walk over here. Uh, that's why you got the Holy Ghost. That's why you need your power. Amen. Uh, so, so think it not strange uh, about the fiery trials that come up to try you. Uh, think it not strange about the conflict that you may be feeling on the inside. Think it not strange that 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 that, that, that things happen to you. Uh, that people do things to you. Amen. Uh, but but that's why you got to look toward the promise. He said, "Blessed." Are those that what? That are persecuted. That are for persecuted for what? Righteousness. Now, that are persecuted for his will. Persecuted for his desire. Amen? Amen. Persecuted because you aim to walk with Jesus. Hmm. Amen? Huh? Now, what's the problem? For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For the kingdom of heaven does what? Now, there must be something special about the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Huh? Huh? There must be something special about it. There must be something desirous about it. He keeps mentioning it. Amen? Amen. All right, read. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Now, now notice the progression. They're, now, they're 
they were persecuting you, that's got a little deeper. Uh, now they start to revile you. Uh, read. And persecute you. Uh, and shall not, say not only, not only uh, persecute you once, but revile you and persecute you again. <laughs> uh, it's a progression. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, so don't, don't trip when you revive. Revive means that they can't stand you. Uh, they hate you. Uh, uh, they, they don't like you. Uh, and, and, and you're detestable. Uh, revive. Uh, uh, it's a progression. These things are happening to those that are in the kingdom. Uh, but notice the promise. That's why we live by the promise. Read. And say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Now, no, they, they talk about you falsely. How many rumor mills are going around? How many things have people said about you that was false? Right. Uh, and don't trip. Uh, rejoice. Say thank you. Because uh, the Bible is being fulfilled. Uh, now, you're saying it falsely for your name, for his name's sake. Yeah. Uh, now, now, here's the promise. What's the promise? Verse 12. Uh -huh. Rejoice. You're supposed to what? Rejoice. Do we do that? Rejoice. And be exceeding glad. And be what? Exceeding glad. Be exceeding. Be overjoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, be overjoyed. Uh, be overjoyed. Why should I be overjoyed? Because God found you worthy to be persecuted. To, to, to persecuted and to suffer for his name. Uh, read. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. And then, for great is your reward where? In heaven. See, now he's continually putting you in the future. Uh, don't, don't get caught up down here. Uh, don't look for things to get great down here. Uh, the promise is, <laughs> the promise is the future. Uh, so if you don't get it down here, don't hold on and charge them. Say, God, you said. Uh, he said, yeah, I said, but you didn't have the right concept. Uh, I'm going to give it to you in the future. Uh, Y'all with me? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Uh, now, you ain't the only one going through. You ain't the only one that was sawn asunder. Uh, you ain't the only one that suffered. Uh, so persecuted they the prophets that were before you. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen? So you're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. I read. Verse 13. Yeah. Ye are the salt of the earth. Now, now, uh, here now, he switches to conduct. Before he was talking about promises. God has made you some great and precious promises. Now he's switching to conduct. What does that tell you? That your conduct matters. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's good to live by the promises, but if you're living by the promises, you've got to keep your conduct in check. Amen. Huh? Because your conduct is literally a, a living window to your will, to your desires. Amen? It shows what what and who you are. Yes. Huh? It manifests Amen. Huh? Uh, who you are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, notice what he said. Read that again. Ye are the salt of the earth. Now notice. He said, you are the what? The salt of the what? Earth. The earth. All right. Now, in in our culture, we just look at salt as flavor. Right. Amen. But in their culture, they look at it as differently than that. 
Amen? They look at it, what? As a preserver. Amen? As a preserver. And they also look at it in this sense, that, that the scripture says for them, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's a law, for them not to eat anything that, 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 is, that, that has blood in it. Right. Am I right? It was against the law for them to do that. Amen? Amen. They weren't able to eat anything that was even strangled in blood. That's right. Huh? So, so blood represents then the life of the flesh. That's scripture, isn't right. it? Yes. Thank you, Lord. So when, when Jesus was telling them that he are the, the salt of the earth, when, when, when we understand blood, and what is the reason why God didn't want them to eat that blood or to eat blood, anything that had blood in it. Blood. Huh? It was the life of it, the, the person of the animal. Yep, it was the life of it. Huh? Am I right? Are we right? Also, too, if you were able to catch a disease, what is one of the first things they're going to take out of you? Your blood. Your blood. They're going to see what's going on. <laughs> Amen? Amen. So, so, blood also in this context represents a contaminant. Uh, a contaminant. Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. So, so when Jesus said that we are the, the salt of the earth, uh, he was telling them that, that, that you literally are a preserver and also salt is used to draw out blood. Not only to preserve what, what the, the, the meat, but it was also used to draw out the blood, to draw out the contaminant. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. So he wants to use you. No, no. He said the salt of the what? Earth. earth. Amen. He wants to use you in the earth, not only to, to preserve people, huh? to preserve the gospel, huh? but to use it to draw out uh, contaminants. Amen. Use it in such a way to draw out those that are, are wounded, those that are sick, uh, to, to be used by the, the Him to heal them, to help them. You follow me? Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, so so you, he, he looks at you far more than we look at ourselves. Uh, Thank you, Lord. He wants to use us. Right. Huh? Not only to preserve people, but also to use us to heal the broken heart. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, to set the captive free. Huh? To deliver those that are sick and diseased. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to help. Am I right? Yes. All right, read. Ye are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor. Now, if you have lost your savor, and we look at that as, as being taste, uh, but, but it's really talking about influence, mm. power. Mm. Uh, if you lose your influence or your power, what does he say? Wherewith shall it be salt? Uh, wherewith, wherewith then, how shall I, talking about, when I say I, I'm talking about the Lord, where shall the Lord uh, uh, use anything else to preserve people? Uh, to, to, to help deliver people from their diseases. Uh, he uses us to heal people. Amen? To strengthen people. You follow me? Uh, now, no, no, no. No, read that verse again. Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh -huh. But if the salt have lost its savor, Wherewith shall it be salted? Uh -huh. It is thenceforth good for nothing. It is thenceforth good for nothing. But to be cast out. Cast out. And to be trodden under foot of men. Now no, no, no. It's good for nothing. Meaning that it has, it has lost its power. Amen? Amen. Now, uh, on Sunday, when I was preaching, and I was preaching about Jesus and his authority. Yeah. Amen? And that he had taught them as one having Zeusia, authority. 
Amen? Power. Uh, and, that, and, that, and that power that Jesus has, he transfers it to us when we receive this teaching, when we receive this word. Amen? We can literally uh, uh, have authority and power over the enemy, over the devil. Yes. Amen? Amen. Uh, now, when I disobey his word, I relinquish my authority. I relinquish my power. Uh, now, the enemy, I'm exposed to the enemy, and he can do with me as he will. Mm. Uh, I know some people don't believe that. Uh, but, but when you leave the ark of safety, yeah. uh, when you stop abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, right. uh, when, you, when you stop obeying his word, yeah. uh, you lose power. Yeah. Uh, you lose authority. Huh? And you can't command the devil like you can or could if you were walking in alignment with him, Amen. with right. Jesus. Yes. Huh? Y'all with me? Amen. Huh? So now read that verse again. Ye are the salt of the earth, uh -huh. but if the salt have lost his savor, yes. wherewith shall it be salted? Read. It is hit thenceforth good for nothing, uh -huh. but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Now, now, what he's saying is, if you lose your power, uh, if you stop abiding and walking in the word of God, uh, you won't be useful to him. Uh, it'd be no way for you to accomplish his will, his desire. You follow? It'd be no way for you to walk in his way. And you know, uh, this scripture here is really not talking about salvation. Uh, it's talking about being in alignment with him. Being used by him. Uh, being the salt. Uh, preserving. Drawing out. Huh? Diseases. Mm -hmm. Helping those that, that need deliverance. Yes. That need strength. Uh, being the conduit by which he uses uh, to, to get people saved, set free and delivered. Amen. Am I right? Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, I mean, ye are the light of the world. Now he says, ye are the what? Light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Huh? A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Now, when he talks about you being the light, he's, he's, he's talking to you about you being a spiritual light, a spiritual guide. Amen? You are the light to the world, a spiritual guide, a spiritual light. You have the wisdom of God. You should have the knowledge of God. Amen? Hallelujah. You are uh, uh, not just uh, uh, for the city, but for the world. Read. 15. Uh -huh. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. All right, read that, read that verse again. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Uh -huh. A city that is set on a hill. Now, no, he said that you are a city that has done what? Set on a hill. hill, which what? Cannot be hid. Cannot be hid. You shouldn't hide your light. Huh? If now, now, thank you, Holy Ghost. If you are proclaiming Christ, there's no way you can hide. Huh? Cannot be here. If you are a follower of Christ, you're, you're, you don't have to say a word, but your very presence should admit that. Right. Huh? That's right. Y'all believe that? Amen. Thank you. Cannot be here. No way. Now, let's get a little deeper. When it comes down to things, that pertain to godliness and, and righteousness, you stand up for that. Huh? Am I right? right. You, so, that, so that everybody will know whose side you're on. Yeah. Huh? Yes. 
Won't be no, won't be no discrepancy about it. Won't be no uh, uh, middle of the fence, middle of the road. He said, I would that you were what? Hot or cold. Yeah. If you were lukewarm, you'd do what? Now, some people say, well, I'd rather be uh, hot than cold. But, but you got to look at, like I said, uh, the Western context of the scripture. They looked at cold water as being refreshing. Mm. Uh, they looked at hot water as being medicinal, uh, healing, uh, warm. Uh, so, so being hot or cold, what Jesus was saying, uh, 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 both have value. Both have purpose. Amen? Thank you, Lord. It's only the lukewarm. And he was using the lukewarm of, of, of the Laodicean church because, because they, they, could, they had an attitude, I can take it and leave it. You can't serve God with an attitude, I can take it and leave it. Mm. Uh, oh, mm -mm. Willy nilly. Uh, wherever it goes. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was talking to this uh, one individual, and, well, never mind. All right, Peter. 15. Uh -huh. Neither do men light a candle uh -huh. and put it under a bush. Now, you have been lit. Amen? Amen. You have been lit. Uh -huh. You don't take your life. And put it where? Under, under. Under, you don't hide it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're not meant to be here. Amen. You're meant to be seen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Read. But on a candlestick. But under what? But on a candlestick. On a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. And, and you give wisdom. God's wisdom. You give God's life huh, to everybody that comes in your purview. Amen? Amen. All right, read. Let your light so shine. Now, now, no. He said, let it so shine. Before men. Huh, before people. Because God is interested in people. Amen? Amen. That's why you're the soul. Huh? You are, he uses you to heal the world. Do y'all believe that? Yeah. Hallelujah. You're important. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Now, if you don't shine, who won't shine? Mm. If we don't shine, who won't shine? The world can't shine. No. Read it. Listen. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works yeah. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. They see your good works and do what? Glorify your Father which Amen. is in heaven. So that's self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. Uh, Minister Vessel, can you take an offering for us? Thank you, Jesus. Minister Corey, can you turn off the... I will. The thingy? <laughs> 